to the pit stop ranch. Last Thursday, we went out to the Irwindale drag strip for their inaugural uh, test and tune for 2022. I thought it'd be a good idea to take uh, my old C10 and see what the old girl can do. It is currently my fastest vehicle. One I generally enjoy uh, the old loud pedal on, going fast. And I was curious what, how it stood up against uh, an old classic like this. In this video, we're going to go ahead and share what we uh, experienced uh, while there, and I hope you enjoy it. Well, we're standing in line. We're waiting in line. Uh, they're having some electrical issues. I got here an hour after they theoretically opened, and um, figured we'd skip some of the formalities, but um, yeah, it happens. You know, it's, it's the first of the new year for drag racing here and so now they just did the big moon eyes here on this last saturday that we showed up for but then since we didn't have tickets we're turned away so they're just trying to pack us into the overflow parking over here here we are lined up for uh <clears throat> tech inspection i thought it was an excellent time to take uh, get out and uh, look around while i was waiting my turn to fill out the inevitable paperwork and of course uh, take a look at the fun cars now tech inspection uh, my tech inspection was super easy uh, popped the hood um, looked at what was under the uh, look for whatever they needed there check a look at the tires see if they're slicks or not and then um, make sure they had seat belts and, and that was that that's all that they required at least for what I was obviously going to run, so it was super easy. Here I'm taking a quick gander at the track before lining up uh, for my uh, inevitable turn. And <clears throat> here's the line to actually get onto the drag strip. You sure? Yeah. Pretty cool. Thanks. Miata? Yeah. Nice. What all have you done to it? Uh, it's just a 1.6 turbo. All right. It's have you like 15 pounds? Okay. You uh, ever run up here before? No, no, I haven't yet. First time? Yeah, I just I haven't had the car long. Just kind of got it put together and then okay. got it tuned not that long ago on a straight tune and it put down like a little over 200. I bet that'll be spirited in this. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. Hopefully. Yeah never actually gone down a track with it so it'd be cool to see what it'll do absolutely absolutely well, good luck man thanks man how's it going this yours yes sir. very cool Lots of really cool eclectic cars and trucks. Uh, everything from um, pretty new um, cars to uh, classics all lined up, ready to go. Uh, this gentleman was right behind me. He has got basically a new Camaro drivetrain in his pickup. Uh, he thinks he's putting around roughly 500 horsepower. And here's just a whole bunch of other, some of the cool cars that caught my eye. And you'll notice that most of them are um, domestic uh, U.S. Uh, cars with a few interesting imports uh, that were uh, available. Now there was a special exhibition lane with, uh, well, very highly prepared cars. It, it was neat seeing everyone there and, and how busy they were. I was, I was actually really pleased to see that. I mean, it meant I, I only took the time to do one run, but hey, it was awesome. Teams get you ready to go. Green and we go. She was on uh, Kevin Hart's um, muscle car or whatever the hell on Motor Trend. They came out here and like gave him a crash course on uh, drag racing.
Did you see anything when I lined up? He said you were all four-wheel drive. He said I was four-wheel drive? And he also said you were uh, K20. <laughs> well, he saw the, the eight lug.
I do have to make a confession that was not only the first time the C10's been down the uh, drag strip, it is also the first time I've been down the drag strip. There's much room for improvement on behalf of this guy. Now, of course, that establishes a baseline on the C10 on uh, what exactly it can do, uh, it, uh, which gives us room so that when we go back, and we are planning on going back over the next few months to see see if we can find some improvement. Uh, the biggest improvement, of course, is the loose nut behind the wheel and uh, actually developing the actual muscle memories and skills that go along with drag racing. And more importantly, it is also uh, to show you that uh, anyone can go to the drag strip with a car, meets basic simple inspections, tech inspection, and you can run down the strip. I highly encourage you all to do it. Uh, a lot of drag strips are disappearing because of lack of business and because the real estate's become more valuable than uh, what the owners can make uh, drag racing. And that's a shame. So go out, support your local drag strip, and uh, have a good time. It's a, fun, it's a fun family environment for everyone to go and enjoy. And I hope you enjoyed the tire shredding and uh, open throttle excitement of uh, cars in the burn box and running down the strip and uh, encourage you to go out and do it with your favorite lump. As always, uh, if you enjoy uh, what you uh, watch here on the Pit Stop Ranch, please support us by hitting the old like button. And if you could and haven't done so already, please subscribe. Till next time, have a dragtastic day.